What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net and we are inside of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2012. My hosting provider uses SQL Server 2005. So I am unable to upload my newly created databases to my hosting provider unless it is in the SQL Server 2005 database format. And so people that have this issue, uh, you can still use SQL Server 2012 or the most recent version of SQL Server. And what we're going to do is that we're actually going to create a script that will allow us basically export our data to where we can put it into any database that we want to put it in. So what we're going to do is that we're going to choose a small database. Let's grab a hold of this one right here. It's just got a couple of tables in it. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go to task. Then we're going to come down here to generate script. Once we open up this page, we're going to click on next. We're going to select our script entire database and all database properties. Click on next. Make sure that all of this is set right. And then we're going to, it's going to overwrite the existing file that is already there. Click on the advanced. We're going to scroll down to right here. It says script for server version. We're going to choose 2005. You can go all the way down to 2000. We're going to choose 2005 because that is the database that we are working with. We want to grab a hold of all of our schema and data. Then we come down here to the bottom, make sure this is set to true for our primary keys. Our false is the trigger and our unique keys are true. Click OK. Click on Next. And then we should have this information right here. It's going to be uh, located in our D profile document script. Click on next and it is going to generate our script. Everything did okay. Click on finish. Let's bring this down. Now if we come over here, we can open up data. This is sitting on my server and then documents right here. And this is the script that we just created. It's at 101 AM. This is 102 AM. So that is the script that we want. This is the old script. So let's go ahead and just type that as old. Okay, now let's come over here, grab a hold of this script and move it over to my server. Now let's come down and let's open up our server. So here we go with our new script. Let's come over here and open up SQL Server. And it is right here. Click connect. Okay, now let's come over here to File, Open, File, and then we want to go into the location that this is at, which is E, SQL Server Data, and then Data. Over here to E, SQL Server Data, Data, grab a hold of this script, click Connect. Let's move this out. Now, where we want to have this located at, we want to put this inside of this same area. So let's go ahead and just copy it. Come down here, start it right there and end it, paste. And then do the same thing here, paste. Okay, this is gonna create it. See so right here, create database media on primary. So now with that, let's go ahead and as you can see right here, we only have ask and spotlight. So now with this, let's choose execute. It should give us one error, should be all we get. Okay, and as you can see, the only error that we got was could not find stored procedure, this right here. So everything else did okay. If you have any errors at the very bottom, that's what you wanna worry about. As you can tell, we have no errors. Now the only thing that I've got to do here is just take the file, the database file right here, and then upload this file to my hosting provider. Okay, Wayne Barron here with darkfakes.net inside of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2005 and inside of Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.